Okay, so now we're gonna learn about two cool functions in Tableau today and now in order to get the current date or the current date and time. So let's go. Alright guys, so one of the very famous use case of the today function in Tableau is to make something like this. You can make highlight in the visualizations about the current date in the view. So we can see here like a separator in the visualizations with the current date of today. And with that, you can draw the attentions of the users by highlighting one of those parts. So now let's go and understand quickly what is today function. Alright, so we have those two functions today and now. They are the easiest and the simplest functions in Tableau that will not manipulate or transform anything there is no concept behind them they will just deliver for you the current date and time informations as you execute them so for example we have the first one that today it does not need any argument as you can see it's very simple the output can be a date so you will get the current date informations now we are at i'm recording at the end of my 2023 but if you are interested to have as well the time information you have to execute now no argument inside it, you will get date and time. So as I'm recording, it is 6 p.m., 10 minutes and 40 seconds. So that's it, this is about the two functions. Let's go back to Tableau and start practicing. When do you use them? All right, so now we're gonna see how we can use today function in our visualization. So the first thing is to create the calculated field. So let's go and create a new one and we call it today. Then we need the function that's called today as well. As you can see, it's very easy. We don't need to add anything else. And by the way, this is always the first calculation that I always create in each new data source. So without knowing the requirement or anything, I just go and create this one because I'm sure that I end up using this function. So it's really one of the first thing that I usually do for each new data source so let's go and hit okay everything is fine so as you can see we got it on the left side as a new dimension with the data type date let's check the current information so we can bring it to the view tab we're going to convert it to year so i have always to switch it to exact date and then to discrete in order to see the value and as you can see we are at the end of my 2023 so now it's very interesting in which year you are now checking the video and following me in those steps okay so this is how you can create the today function in tableau now we're going to use it in a reference line in one view in order to show you how powerful is this function and we're going to create a view about the number of orders over the shipping date so let's go and create it i'm going to remove the today from here and then we're going to add the shipping date from the orders the columns and then let's take the number of orders the orders counts let's take it to the rows and now instead of having the years i would like to have months so i'm gonna do now a quick format so let's go to the field and then we're gonna go and pick this one month so let's click on it and the visualization type look as well good so now let's go and create a new reference line in order to do that we're gonna go to the axis over here right click on it and then we have here the option of add reference line here the most important thing to customize is the value of the reference line I would like to have the value of today as a reference line to indicate the current information, the current date. But if you go to the values over here, you will see that I can either create a new parameter or I can use only the shipping date. And that's because our new field today is not yet in the visual. So we have to add it to the visual. In order to do that, we can close this first, and then we take the today and drag and drop it in the details. But we are not there yet because Tableau did convert it to a year. And I would like to have in the reference line the exact date of today. So in order to do that, we're gonna convert it to exact date, right click on it, and we have here the option exact date. So that's it, this is the requirement to add it in the reference line. Let's go and add again the reference line and we go to the values, let's check. Yeah, we got the today value. So let's select it and then hit okay. So now here on the right side, we got a very nice reference line indicating of the day of to date. But still there's like a problem, right? Because all of the data is behind the reference line because the data is a little bit old. So now in order to make it more interesting, I'm gonna add two years to the shipping date to make the visual look better. So in order to do that, as we learned before, we're gonna go and create a new calculated field. Let's call it shipping dates plus two years. And here we're gonna add date add. First, we need the date part. So we are saying plus two years. We are talking about years. The interval gonna be two and the date gonna be the shipping date. All right, so with that, we are done. The calculation is valid. Let's click OK. So we have it now on the left side. And what we're going to do, we're going to replace it with the old value. So let's just remove the old shipping date and get the new one to the rows. We're going to do the same steps. So we're going to convert it again to month. 
Let's do that. And now, as you can see, we have values for 2024, 2025. So let's add again the reference line. Right click on the axis, add reference line, and let's go to the values and let's select it today. So now we got a very nice cut in our visual in between our data to show the past today and the future so now we can go and add little bit customizations just to make it look better so for example as you can see we have a label over here for the reference line it says minimum today i would like to show immediately the value of the current date in order to do that right click on the line and then go to edit and then we have to change the label over here so instead of the computation let's change it to the value and with that, as you can see on the right side, we get immediately the current value of today. The next step, I would like to add some coloring to the reference line. So right click on the reference line and let's go to format. Then we have here three informations to customize. The first one is the line itself, then fill above, that means all the informations on the right side, fill below gonna be all information on the left side. So for example, let's start with the line. I would like it to have it dotted and as well red, the opacity i'm just gonna make it to the 100 so now the next value is gonna be the fill above i would like to highlight it with green so let's go and pick the color green over here and then the next one gonna be the below you can leave it like white or you can make it like gray in order to show this is history so with that as you can see the visual gonna look more professional so we are highlighting the future and the history is like grayed out so that's it with a small function in tableau like the today function you can create amazing dashboard and visuals for your users and this is one of the most common use case of the today function in Tableau to highlight the data. Okay, everyone, so that's it for today and now functions. With that, we have learned all the use cases for the date functions in Tableau. We have covered around 10 functions in Tableau. Next, we're gonna jump to the next group. We're gonna learn about the null functions.